Well, finally, on the program, the Lagos State Government has honored 800 officers in the year 2022 Long Service Merit Awards for outstanding performance. Governor Babajide Sonwolu presented car keys to 10 outstanding officers and two others got a ticket to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Take a look. It's the 15th edition of the year 2022 Long Service Merit Awards for outstanding civil servants in Lagos State. Governor Babajide Sonwolu arrives at Intercontinental Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos, for the final ceremony. The Long Service Merit Award represents an opportunity for the state government to celebrate public servants who have served the government and the people of Lagos diligently. This year, 800 officers have been rewarded for excellent performance and the state government is hosting the lucky ones. The award ceremony is designed to recognize public servants who have made significant contributions to the development and prosperity of the state. Given the overarching objective of recognizing and rewarding excellence and talent, the circular lists the criteria for nomination, amongst which are creativity, honesty, initiative, reliability, leadership, punctuality, teamwork, human relations, and significant individual achievements. The next phase of the process is the issuance of the internal memo constituting the screening committees in the ministries, departments, agencies, service-wide. Again, as I mentioned, including our local government councils and local council development areas, calling for nominations by departments and units on the basis of the listed criteria. The membership of the ministerial screening committees comprise of directors of departments who are responsible for the day-to-day -day and internal screening of the nominees with the ultimate objective of selecting the candidates whose names will be forwarded to the public service office as its best officer nominees from amongst the state screening committee, which comprises of permanent secretaries and they eventually select the best. A total number of 334 nominations were received from MDAs, local governments, and LCDAs for year 2020-2021. Out of this nomination, a total of 190 officers were finally recommended to receive the Outstanding Officers Award in line with the aforementioned criteria. The awardees comprise of 109 for the senior categories, while 81 officers were chosen for the junior categories. In congratulating to today's awardees, I urge you all not to rest on your achievements, but to continue to exhibit the high sense of responsibility, diligence, commitment, and duty, and alloyed loyalty, which are the qualities and values for which you have been recognized today. Governor Sonwolu commends the public servants for their dedication and assures them of providing an enabling environment for more positive results in the state. I would first like to congratulate the head of service, Mr. Aki Muri Okwala, the body of permanent secretary, and the entire hardworking, dedicated, and committed public servants in Lagos State on this occasion for a successful celebration of this year's Public Service Week goes without saying that the Lagos State Public Service has continued to raise the bar and to rise up to the expectations of a fast-growing mega city with an enlightened and an expectant population that is rising every day. In the last three years of our administration, the State Public Service have shown great capacity. You have shown high level of dedication and a very high sense of professionalism. I'll continue to refer with a great sense of appreciation to the commitment displayed by the public service, especially in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. The heroic performance, especially by our health personnel and other emergency service providers were truly, truly outstanding. This administration, in recognition of all of the diligent contributions 
for our public service has always prioritized the issues of welfare and capacity building. Our greatest strength as a state is our human resource base, of which the public service remain a key component. It's on this note that I have heartily congratulated all of you who have been chosen as worthy recipients of the year 2022 Outstanding Public Service Award. I have no doubt that you have all displayed sterling qualities, values, and virtues of hard work, high level of integrity, selflessness, and a tenacity to be selected among your peers and colleagues for this great recognition. The best way to show gratitude for this award is to keep up the work, the very good work, and continue to serve as good and noble ambassadors of Lagos State Public Service. And so on our part, as a government that is entrusted with oversight and the leadership of the public service, we will continue to give priority attention to all of your needs, especially those that will improve the quality of your job and give you higher level of job satisfaction and increase your ability and capacity to meet the very, very high expectations of Lagosians. The next our deed that has been chosen is Mr. Ganiyu Tajuddin Olabisi. A memorable day for some. <laughs> The next winner from the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, from the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, Aguda, Mrs. Bodupe Adoke. Oh my goodness. Infectious joy. Infectious joy. It will be permanent in our lives in Jesus' name. Ten people were presented car keys. Return ticket to Dubai. One by Oyeleke Mojisola Esther Hello? from Education District 6. Two orders get return tickets to Dubai. Return ticket to Dubai. Business class. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Governor, this ticket is made possible with the support of Airpeace Nigeria. You are flying business class to Dubai. Ah, need to. Get the money. If you get the money, you get the money. You can spend the money, job. In this category is from the Ministry of Commerce, Industry, and Cooperatives. And the winner is Mr. Muyo Sore Shebioba. No doubt, this gesture by the Lagos State Government will motivate others to put in more hard work in their service to the states. Now this is where we call it a day on this week's edition of the program Dateline Lagos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ayo Tunde Balugum. Until next time, please stay safe. Bye for now.